Oh yeah. Oh, and it must be a Wednesday because it's been humptastic. All the humps. Humpty Dumpty today. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, what's been going on, guys? Been doing some things? I know I have. You know, I've been talking a little bit about possibly doing a format change on this thing, and boy am I! Some big changes coming in the pipeline. We witnessing a lot of those today? No. No, not at all. Today, we're just trying to make it through, because in order for these other changes and things and stuff to happen, there's a lot of work to be done. And I'm gonna be calling on you guys, too. So, just so you know, be ready to be called upon and you'll help because you love me getting no help <laughs> no one will show let's do it what do we got on the list today let's look at the list the to do's what am i talking about today today i'm talking about the futuristic sci-fi like kind of thing neuroweb that's not what it's called hmm elon musk's Neuralink company yeah that and some other updates I just gotta keep today quick, guys, so that's what uh what I'm doing. So welcome to the Finding Lost Vlogs. Wednesday, baby! Yeah! No rain today, I think, I hope. I like no rain. Alright, so hopping right in. Elon Musk. This guy creating a whole bunch of things. Obviously, we know him as the CEO of Tesla. You know, that electric car company that everyone thought was gonna fail, but is actually doing quite well, and got the big three and every other auto manufacturer trying to play catch up. Oh, I don't know if they're playing catch up, Dan. I think they're playing mustard! Anyway, Elon has his hands into so many things, it's hard for some people to understand exactly what it is that he does. So he's got Tesla. He's got SpaceX. Yeah, you know, that space company landing rockets and stuff. He's also got the Boring Company, which is pretty far from boring. In fact, they're drilling holes underneath LA and in California. Super fast traffic. It's like that Hyperloop idea, you know? For when you need to get places in a hurry. But today I'm talking about one of his lesser known companies, Neuralink, which was started in 2016. And no one's really had any information about what is going on with this company. We've heard a few brief ideas about what might be going on, basically in a way to combat artificial intelligence, try to increase the bandwidth of our communication with the internet. We're just computers, really. And I basically think that that's Neuralink's whole idea. Try to get human brains to communicate with computers. Ooh. Now this does sound scary and somewhat futuristic, especially with rumor of human testing beginning in the first half of 2020. I mean, why not, right? I guess when you say it like that, it seems a lot less futuristic. Oh yeah, so you know, our, our brains were being connected to computers in 2020. I mean, I'll buy that. I mean, hell, if I don't have a flying car, I might as well be able to telepathically communicate with computers, right? Yeah. Make searching for porn a lot easier. Already knows what I want. <laughs> no. Or, you know, whatever I'm searching for at the time, it'll already know what I need. And if that's the case, what does education really mean anyway? I Meaning if you have instant access to the information you need or how to do something, hmm. But this company has been pretty secretive, and today, tonight, we get to find out a little bit more. Neuralink is holding an event that starts tonight at 8 p.m. in San Francisco, so that's, you know, Pacific time. Specific. No, it's Pacific. Which means that will be on at 11 p.m. for the rest of us here on the east side. Where they're going to present to us a bit about what they've been working on the past two years. And they will be live streaming this event, so of course you can tune into Neuralink's YouTube channel. Let's go there, check it out, and let's see what the future holds. Other things! So podcasts are up with Brett and Eric McCrone. We got part two of the Drunken Fest coming up this week, as well as Elmer Hall. That's right, he's a free man now, yeah! And we did our Out of Jail Cast, or Jail Cast, Freedom Cast podcast, and that'll be coming out next week. So how about that? Be on the lookout and go to YouTube. Click that subscribe button, yo. Get notified. Also wanted to get on and kind of have a little shout out or just a call out to all my nerdy computer friends. I got to get this iMac back up and running, yo. Basically, I need a hard drive. So who's going to help me put one in? It's going to be you, you, or you, anyone? Can they help me with this? Oh, is that not a big enough challenge for you? Oh, I got, I got an idea. Who's built a Hackintosh? Because I want to make a crazy ass laptop. Like seriously crazy. Like Mad Titan style crazy. Mad, Mad Titan. I mean like a boss computer. Like damn, what is that thing? And you're like, it's my laptop that won't die for three days and has every port I need as well as an awesome display and graphics and RAM and blah 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 blah. And running Apple software. That's gonna be the key. And not just running it, but running it well. Like awesome. So who can help me with that? 
I mean, seriously, this is gonna be kind of crazy and it could be kind of cool and I don't even know if I have anyone that could do that kind of stuff. Or maybe I have a few and we could put our brains together and get it figured out. I personally haven't dealt with anything on a PC in at least 10 years. Been Mac and proud for quite a long time. And I'm definitely not really looking to get into the PC world. I just know that I've heard of Hackintosh and people doing it. Some people finding success with it. And when I'm out on the road, I just don't want any limitations, man. I just feel like Apple has crippled their laptops in so many different ways. It's like they're super fast and they're super cool, but are they? We're gonna make them so thin. Yeah, you could make mine like a half inch thicker and give me a battery that last two days. Perfect that cooling so that, you know, my computer's not in constant warp speed. Give me some ports besides USB-C, maybe even like a Blu-ray optical drive. Well, no one using disc anymore, everything's wireless. Uh, if I'm out on the road and I'm dealing with clients and stuff, I need to have whatever they're throwing at me. And at the very minimum, you know, a standard USB port, I mean, thumb drives still exist. The fact that they're switching everything over to USB-C, not that I have a real big problem with USB-C, but give me the other ports too. All ports are important. Not them all, not all of them, but a lot of them. So with the power of video, let me summon my geek squad so we can actually do this. Cause I think it could be cool. We'll make a video about it. And I think we could end up with something that people are like, I want one of those. Maybe, I mean, I'm talking about building a boss machine. If it's practical. So get at me guys, let's do it. And you know, the iMac still needs fixed too. What else is happening things? Oh man, I thought I was gonna sneeze. Oh, I still might. Nope, it passed. It passed, I'm all good. I still have a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays up for sale. I'm also selling a bunch of other things too. More coming in on the way. But hey, if you're looking for some DVDs or Blu-rays or movies, they're all movies. Get at me, yo! I need these gone. I'm willing to accept offers. Now, I think I have them extremely fairly priced. However, I need them gone! Let's get them out of here. Help me get them out of here. Offering lot discounts. I, I don't know what that means exactly, but it means like more than one and a fair price or a deal yeah still working and trying to figure out my life for sale as well as what to post next on the ebay so many lists that i've got going everywhere and trying to get things done and trying to get new things started and it's like scratch those other things off first dan sometimes i feel like i'm at a million places at once omnipresence currently not possible with the things that i'm trying to do maybe eventually with that neural link i can be thinking about one thing while doing others and controlling robots that are mine those would be the fun machines to build, I think. Probably difficult. Oh man, how about all this rambly rambleton, huh? Guess if you made it this far, you should probably give this video a like. And if you're a computer genius who's willing to help me out, you know, message me. And subscribe on YouTube! If you haven't done that. Oh, it's definitely one of them days. <laughs> this vlog bomb or what? Doesn't matter, at least I did it. I was debating on not doing one today. Because ah! I got other things to do. How's that for original? Authentic. Genuine. Truly. I'm Dan and you've been watching the Finding Lost Vlogs. Number 66. 66. Hopefully everyone's having a kick-ass day and is ready for a kick-ass week. And it's coming. Peace guys, I'm out of here.